Hey, what's going on YouTube? Uh, Savior the Magnificent X here. Um, I, I'm here to upload another video for all of you. Uh, today I'm going to uh, reveal to you my top 10 signature scents. Um, I have four honorable mentions. Uh, first one, I'm going to breeze through them real quick. F first comes from the House of Hani Mori, and that is H.M., the Eau de Parfum version. Very nice, crisp, clean scent. Very professional. Next one has been hyped quite a bit in the community, especially by um, someone who's very popular in the community. I'm not going to say his name, of course. You'll probably know when I show it to you. And that is C.H. Men. Very great, boozy whiskey scent with an uh, intoxicating burnt sugar note. Just score. Just fabulous. Next one comes from the house of Juicy Couture. It is a classy, rustic scent I like very much, and that's pretty much it. And it is none other than Dirty English. Um, you get... Yep. Very great. And last one, obviously, means no introduction. Uh, the mo uh, one of the most loved and hated scents in the community, other, um, and pretty much needs no introduction. I'm not talking about Dior Sauvage, I'm talking about Blue de Chanel. Okay. Number 10 comes from the house of Dolce Gabbana. Um, it is part of the One series. I'm not talking about the original EDT or EDP. I'm referring to the One Gentleman. What you get with this is some lavender, some bergamot, and some black pepper. Um, very great scent. Uh, very, very gorgeous scent. Um, perfect for the work and office environments. Uh, very safe and inoffensive, but also bold at the same time. Number nine comes from the house of Hugo Boss, and it is it is um, Hugo B Dark Blue. What this is, in a nutshell, is um, the younger and more playful brother to Blue Day Chanel. Um, Anyone of any age can wear this, and um, it's a very great bang for your buck. You can get it from online for around uh, twenty to twenty-five dollars. Great scent. Get it. Next one comes from the house of Lacoste, and it's been on a lot of other people's top 10 lists, and it is none other than Lacoste Pour Homme. Uh, I can't describe to you how versatile this scent is. Um, you can dress it up, down, and pretty much any occasion. So Lacoste Pour Homme at number 8. Coming in at number 7 is a Fred Grinch that was recommended to me by my man Forever Adrian and even Chad from Saving on Shaving on the Dark Side. Shout outs to all of you. And it is none other than Homage Alone. This is the original version and not the Voyageur Flanker. Um, what this is is pretty much um, you'll get vibes of Loam, about 90%, 90% in Loam with a little hint of Fahrenheit with a regal touch. Yeah, so this is pretty much a more regal version of Loam. Um, and I, yeah, very great signature scent, perfect for dates and the work environments. So, get it. Number six is a two-way tie between the original Guest Seductive and Guest Seductive Blue. Uh, I've pretty much talked and spoke about these scents quite a great deal, so um, I don't think I really need to give any 
further introduction. So, Guest Seductive and Guest Seductive Blue tied at number six spot. All right, getting into my top five. Top five, my number five spot comes from the house of Jacques Bogart. Um, it is the manlier version of Midnight in Paris mixed with Bulgari Black mixed with Azaro's Visit, and that is none other than City Tower. Here's the box in case you can't see it. Um, I, as you can see, I've been putting quite a dent in this, and this is one of been one of my go-to scents for the workplace. Number four, Fragments, comes from the house of Azaro. It's the dry, classy sandalwood oak moss from their line, and it is the, none other than Azaro Pour Homme. Uh, I just gotta say, guys, I am, this is truly, I'm truly in love with the scent. Um, every time I wear it, it kind of reminds me of the scene of American Gangster, where Denzel Washington was excuse me, where he was walking um, down the street in his classic brown suit. It, it just gives me very good memories of that vintage time. So Azaro Parome at number four. Coming in at number three is another great work scent that I, to me screams the epitome of professionalism. Also from the house of Azaro. And it is none other than Visit. What you get with this is, um, it's, it doesn't smell anything like City Tower, but you get more of a slightly synthetic um, mix of cardamom, nutmeg, and incense, um, along with some pink pepper to give it a little bit of edge and bite. Um, very, one of the, one of my favorite cheapies that I own in my collection. You can get it for around 20, 20 to 30 dollars online. So number three is Azaro Visit. Coming in at number two is a fragrance from the house of Lalique. It was my number one fragrance of last year, and I believe it deserves more love than it gets. I'm referring to Lalique's Acre Noir a la Extreme. What you get with this is a deeper, richer version of the original Acre Noir, but it's but at the same time, it's not as pungent and as the original and more easier to wear. Um, honestly, my favorite fragrance in the Opera Bar lineup of the three. So, a must-have for anybody who loves Vetiver. And coming in at number one, my number one signature scent from the house of Rock Aware is the boozy incense tonka bean scent that I've mentioned in a couple of the videos and I am referring none other than Evolution. As, um, as I mentioned before, this has some similarities to Calvin Klein's encounter um, minus, the, minus the florals. So, great to wear for any occasion. You can dress that up dress it down, um, makes a very great signature scent, and you get some compliments with it. You won't get as the most crazy compliments as you will with Homage Alone or um, Lacoste Pour Homme, but uh, they'll be pretty decent. So that's it, guys. That's my top 10 signature scent list. Let me know what you think of this list. Do you like them, love them, hate them? Uh, please let me know down in the comments section. Also, feel free to let me know um, what some of your favorite signature scents are. And um, uh, also, feel free to let me know um, if I should keep doing top 10 list or go back to five underrated fragrances. Um, let me know that down there. Down, let me know down in the comments section below. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching and tuning in. I'm Xavier, the Magnificent X, saying... 
Take care, be safe, smell great, and have a magnificent day. Peace.